Ah, uh, naye musumba, but pastor. Ngawe government nze ndi muna maulire. I'm a radio presenter. Ni na radio mje na linkolera mu Easter na yo. Used to work for a radio in Eastern. Jengendo kokira koko bakwe na singo kokoseza enyo. That's why I call a lot of pain. Uh, we saw blowing ne ne fula chimanya enyo ne ne fula ali part of it. I was like this so city and I didn't. Ah uh, Radio Vajita Open Gate FM. Ababela mu Eastern, mochimanya nti it's a big radio. It's a big Nene, radio. Eastern Uganda. Nene, era ye kabaka weyo. It's the king in that area. Nalinko la program. I had a program. Satu. Three programs. Nalinko la program weekend. Uh, one of the weekend. Wajita uh, the African Echo. It's called the African Echo. Nalinko la program kumacha. Then a morning, morning program. Of course, morning crew. Ngabajita the morning wave. It was called the morning wave. Then Oregulo. Then in the afternoon. Nakolanga evening drive. Ngabajita Muluswahili. Ngabajita Brudani la Kiswahili. There was one in Swahili. Musumba. Pastor. Bulirenagenda ngakumpewo. Every time I would go on air. Muzee nzikiriza emyaka nasa tumo musambu na jweze za mu December na nzikizanko zese chigambo chino kuba chechigendo kujja ichifana nya chitufu let me use this word to bring out the picture olutalo lwe nalinzi nkuguddeko the war and operega mantinga tulinga abayagala ku mukazi omu it's like we were going out for the same woman muzee nsaba kunsonywa chichinde I'm asking you for your forgiveness nzise kunsonyewa chuka chenjagala for forgiveness that's all binji it's a lot radio crossing border the radio crosses the border up to kenya goes to kenya program na jikola nga mu swahili i used to do the program in swahili listenership nene it Adam has a wide listener is listenership. not a small name omuntu enava mu eastern akugambe from ginger back from ginger all that way when you talk about adam king no man omtamo manyi even the kids so, know me when na vera nga kumpewo njogera and i would speak anything nchimanyi ndi nakosa chinene musumba ndi wano i'm here okaka sensi to confirm to the world ndi nalino anantalo za chisiro i was fighting Actually, stupid battles aba aba mi nabakubiranga amasimu I, i call them like twice i used to call those men o mwami ambala bugalu bindi omuzungu omuzungu gamitani oba oba sempa is called sempa pasa sempa then wallo no liba muitani male pasa male but i didn't call the, the other one holiye sam kubira i never called the third one actually nalina ne recordings na ye i had one time aba bibai ngire wange he was broken to my house to leave into yange took my stuff ne batwali damu ebinte ne nalini na recordings but i had recordings kubanga programs zaberanga recorded the programs are recorded so Rero rutalo lwe nalwana nga msumba no sirumanyi simanjerwa tandikira you know na ene i indulged myself the name is amo being too you know mzee ne mama mama and pastor this is a concern you are i've come for forgiveness mzee pastor emiaka 10 na munana 18 years ngandi mu radio I was I've been in radio business. Natandika okola mu radio. Asina bela na kubela qualified. Even before I was qualified. Nenkola, I worked. Na ye ebanga li na malanga nkola mu radio. Tali na luna kuna lumu. There is not a single day. Lo na andika application nga sawo mu radio. They ever applied for it. They just spot me. They would spot me. Ne bagambo yo mulonji. They want to ala. Walo pol Radio emu eri anda voice media group ya honorable mike mukula baja i had a talk show we to amala talk show ne bangamba man you good to you know go to ala ne bantu ala tetango ko era voice of success not even on a single day ntina wandika ko kwa application ne pastor mbandi se applications in applications in popular nazi malayo maduka i'm about to finish papers from shit now we bambita no one is giving me a job echo manyi ntino katondawo alwanga rutalo is fighting me mzee pastor eguru we banga company if it's a company or human resource yamboga ambe boss i'm sorry. sorry tell the boss that i'm sorry Chindese. that's why i'm here that's why i'm here chache chindese abana wange basibenjala my kids go hungry oyogedde wana chinogamba omuntu awereza sitani sitani am it's true when i was in the devil 
I could spend like 700 mumwenge just a night. Ekiro kimunga mfuwe. Ka chinezi gulira abana mukene sizirina. Can't even buy mukene. My kids go hungry. You know, nenga woli. And they go hungry. Mze imanye cho chikoli mo. But I want cars. Njaga chiveo. I want the cars to be lifted. Have mercy forgive me. Abana wange bachire me babira ko. So that cars doesn't come to my kids. Abana wange mze. My kids, Pastor. My kids. You are my father and the spirit. Those are your grandchildren. I don't think you would like my God. Zay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm asking your forgiveness. I didn't know what I was doing. Press men that are here. Professionalism. Professionalism. That was luck. There was no ethics. There was no professionalism. No professional, there was no First ethics. of all, if you are contacting a source, if you, are contacting source music you have to contact both sides. They, the they, they want the complaint. 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 I've just begun to come here during 77 days. He prays. And we got the blessing. He loves people. He loves youth. He blesses people. Sincerely. It's not right. To get someone's reputation And start tarnishing his image and reputation. Newsmen. Be ye careful. What you write and what you say. There is a media house here called Channel 40. Be careful what you do. This is a bit professionalism. Let us not be swayed by money and we lose the focus. Pastor, ne tunze kubuli chimu. Ne chisemba yokuwe chitono mungu yangu chitunze. Even the smallest things in my house are sold. To get food for the children. Na e back then, kasina ba kukiiza mukama. Before I believed God. Nganezi nyomwengi ne mitwale nsamwe chironga nzozi spendinga. Blow seven hundred thousand. Kwenye njia kufuna nzozi singa. Because I knew I would get the next day more money. No kujano na tambuza vige. I walked to come here today. That is how far it has gone. Jesus, I'm sorry. No more job I signed for in Dubai. I don't know if I'll get the ticket. The money for the ticket. I know when the curse is lifted, I'll get it. I have my dreams. My God. Mzee, renasoko kujano na tambuza vigere. I walked to come here the first day. Na imu moto kanateka angamu full tank. Ewange kendira ni nyonge zao. I used to drive with a full tank. Neka tuswa na kulaba nchia wali nga wa itawo mpira kwe motoka. But you can't see that there used to be a tire. That is how far it has gone. You're a parent. December 2016. The same age I'm so stupid. To start. To start. In that way. Mama bwaba wali wano. Saba je, mzee monso niwe. Ne mama anga wali. Saba monso niwe. Asking for your forgiveness. Saba monso niwe. Asking for your forgiveness. 
I'm asking for your forgiveness. That's the reason I'm here. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Uh, we thank God so much for today. And for all the confessions that have been happening. The truth is we do not hold anything against any of these people. Um, personally, I don't hold anything against uh, Pastor Sempa. I don't hold anything against Pastor Mali. I don't hold anything against Pastor Chaze. And the reason I don't hold anything against them is because God has been faithful and He has shown us His mercies. God began to deal with us and visited us and had mercy on us even before the court case was done. He became our comforter. He became our helper. And everything we went through as a family drew us closer to God. And there are some things that happen and you ask yourself whether God let it be so that you might go to another level. The word of God says many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him through them all. Uh, through the trials we went through, the rumors, it has, it, has, um, it was a very painful time. It was a very straining time. But God has brought us closer to him. We have learned to fast and pray more than we have ever fasted and prayed. And I believe that some of these things have given birth to a move of God. Because we decided to spend more time in prayer. Because God was our solace. We had been abandoned. We had been rejected. People were laughing at us. A person that is um, right now, my husband knows, I still get messages, anonymous messages. From, um, people trying to scorn me or laugh at me or intimidate me or, or, or make fun of my marriage. But I'm not intimidated. Because God has given me peace. He directs the footsteps of the righteous. And he put me in this man's life for a reason. And So today I just want to speak to the enemy and say you are wasting your time because me I'm not going anywhere. I've been around for 25 years and I'm still strong and I'm still moving and I'm still going and God is my shield and he's my protector. And 
my, my work is to pray and to believe God for this ministry. Because I don't want to get to heaven because my husband is, is my biggest assignment. How can I win the whole world and lose my own soul? When I get to heaven, God will ask me and I will say to him this is the man that you gave me I have brought him he's intact he has served God millions have come to the kingdom I will be able to say this is the church that you gave us people have been delivered and people have been set free So today I want the devil to know that I am a woman on an assignment. When I came into this marriage, I did not come blind. And I did not land in a place by mistake. And I am a woman who knows how to make war. And I am I am a, a woman who believes that with God. And anything that is born of God. Will overcome the world. And that is my victory. So personally throughout all those um, everything we went through I think my biggest pain has never been Sempa or Male or you know all those I, I actually remember meeting two of them and even greeting them it has never been that my pain was my children hearing those things and having to grow up uh, go to school and know that their, 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 their father has you know a scourge on his name but it was never those those people because regardless who comes and what comes I am fighting all the way so I just want you to, to feel free in the spirit. I want you to know you are not the only one. And um, I thank God for ministering to you today because you were you, you know you, you were not even part of the people who who you were not a schemer. You are you are um, you are part of a media house. Waliku media house. And I believe you you felt you were doing your job, you were marketing the company. So I want you to know that uh, personally, I don't really think that um, uh, I would bear anything against you. Especially because you didn't know Pastor Kayanja. And you had to bring some work to the table. You had to run the company. Obviously, it had spiritual implications on your life. But I want you to know that I feel for you. I feel sorry for you. I'm, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. I'm sorry that you were probably uh, misled. I'm sorry that your children have had to suffer for nothing and your wife and your family. But God, our God is a God of faithfulness without injustice. I just pray that our God will uplift you and he will bless you and take you to great heights and honor you not because you had done anything wrong but because you have been able to come here and open up your heart and confess that is humility in the highest order I've never seen such humility may God bless your children may God bless your family and if there is any way we, we can help we would like to help your family Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. The Lord bless you. I had a heavy weight on my heart. There was a weight on my heart. Mzee, 
Simanyo vonso nyi eto inache wa yogede Mama ya yogede Zesiva wano mzei Wawajitegeza kusula wano nja kusula Kukatuti Zenyu mama mkama kwa mkisa Nia ziza May the Lord bless you mama Nia ziza mama May the Lord bless you Thank you Jesus I I said when the when when the when the Kasebo family came here and they, I was overwhelmed. And then the Musasi's his mother and that's and I, this had nothing to do with Robert Kayanja. This revival and I don't want it to be that it centers on me. Oh, my family, I, I, I want us to center on the Holy Spirit. But we can't ignore his works. Because surely this is the work of the Holy Spirit. Pastor David, is the one whom I entrusted to go to all over the country to do crusades when, preparations. When, when go in the midst of that, God told me to go out. Now, I did not know what I was confronting. But Pastor David and the team, they used to kind of briefly tell me what is on the ground, the poisoning that was on the ground. And we were doing crusades in Eastern region, in Bali, Soroti, Maraba, Tororo, Palisa, Iganga, Jinja, Jinja, Bujiri, Bujiri. In, in all those areas, we were doing crusades. But I could call Pastor David and say, Pastor David, what is going on? Because all I, all I knew that the attack was here in the central. I was naive. I did not know that these guys had gone all over the nation and even abroad. And people were coming. For example, they could come the first, cruise, first day of the crusade. Very skeptical. First of all, I think they were coming to see who is this person. The spiritual warfare was so high. We were fasting. We were praying. I did not know he even existed. That's why I'm amazed about this 77 days. <laughs> that God cut on. God is so amazing. And so, and here we are, we are going to preach the gospel. People to come to the Lord. Their souls were in the balance. I'm grateful God told us to go. Out. And usually it could take three, four, five days for people to even believe what you are preaching. But we preached anyway. There are those who didn't come. And I pray that their souls will come to the Lord. My brother, thank you for coming. Um, the Lord told us to forgive. Really, now I know the attack was on the messenger so that when the message of 77 dogs comes will be disbelieved people will not believe it like you had the woman yesterday had a son the health expert I don't know whether Dr. Jonathan is here Dr. Jonathan or both Dr. Jonathans are here but the foot, the feet of that boy was swollen. His forehead here was swollen like a dead person. The odor that was coming out of the boy was of a dead person. 
and I and I said well the mother yabadi sibye na chimyo mom had put out some piece of cloth they are not balokole si balokole we've never seen them before si balabanga ko their son walk out of the coma yavu demo coma walked on the stage na ja kuchitudi mama yaba de amaze dokaba nga mama the father said but government to to get a mochari to twala mulambo the people thought they were taking their kid to a mochari because they thought he was dead and god healed that boy yesterday oh. and someone says olina agamba bagula abantu they bribe people Oh boy. If that was the case, the king of Ituri region will not be here today. Kabaka we Ituri tell you about one. So my brother, Ndandawa, whoever repents God forgives him. Uliye nya mukama msonywa. I forgive you. Mkusonywa. I didn't even know you existed. But this man to joy. But now I know how big our God is and how he fight battles because I didn't even know he was there I knew when he went to crusade there was resistance there was people were saying things some of them before your eyes your ears. But I didn't even know he was there. Now I look at the the protraction of the whole battlefield. And I said, who can survive this? And you preachers of the gospel. I mean, who can survive this? But God. Only God. Why don't you stand up and clap your hands to God and the Holy Spirit? Only God. There's no way. There is no way you can survive this. So I forgive you, my brother. And I pray. Like you said, you've told the media houses. Personally, me, I have... I don't pray bad things against people. Because I know if I do that, then I have, have, I'm hindering my own prayer. Okay? I'm hindering my own anointing that I desperately want God to give me. Man, I'm desperate for the anointing. I'm desperate for the Holy Spirit. I want God to move more than what we have seen. So I, I can't spend any moment in such. But, but however, there are consequences. And it hits four generations. Not only one, but four. Not only one, but four. That's what the word of God says. So I forgive you, my brother. And I pray that I don't want your children to starve. That's why my wife gave you that seed, that food. Go buy them some food. I don't want your children to starve. And I, I pray that God with the, withheld back everything that he had set out. I plead with him. I pray that as you are looking for a job to work, that God will favor you. You'll find the things you need. And you'll be able to, to travel and bless your children. God loves us so much. He forgave us. And who are we not to forgive? In Jesus' name. Come on, stand up, man. Stand up. God is good. God is good. And he'll bless you more. You can bring him. But he has a son two and a half years. I know 
the son said I want to see Pastor Kayanja let him come tomorrow I'm meeting these kids at 10 bring him my God I'm overwhelmed thank you God knows how to fight battles. 